Heavyweight contest coming up next, and in the blue corner, Mark Hilton in the all black shorts. Steps through the ropes. And his opponent in this heavyweight contest is Aaron Connor, also in the black shorts but with the white trim. Heavyweights are in the house. see that Aaron noticeably the taller of the two can he make that count in this bout as they get their final instructions <laughs> round one of three Hilton the southpaw stance Connor looking to lead with the left and right Hilton will have to get inside his man here, inside these long limbs of his much taller opponent, but both men immediately throwing heavy shots straight away. If one of these connects cleanly, it could be all over very quickly. Now Connor getting back behind that jab. Needs to keep that range, make his shorter opponent work to get in. Punish him if he does and then work to get out. You don't want to overstretch and give your shorter opponent that opening. For his part, Mark Hilton needs to be all the way in and throwing shots when he's on the inside. When you get to where you need to be, you must work. And they're saying that southpaw jab. There's the right and left lands from Hilton when he gets inside. Connor looking to keep it long now, and he lands with a clean right hand, and then the uppercut. Suddenly, Hilton is forced to back up, taking these heavy shots as Connor pushes forward now, and the left drops him. Sustained pressure from Aaron Connor. And this is what I said for Mark Hilton. You've got to be all the way in, all the way out. If you're on the end of those long limbs, this is what happens. He has to take that eight count from a punishing left hook. Connor throws the right straight and drops to his knees, throwing his own shot there. Hilton feeling the pressure here, the man in the blue corner. Stiff straight left from Connor and the right hand afterwards. And again goes to throw his own right and Hilton hits the canvas once more. Looks for the stiff right, but Connor looking to walk through these shots to land these big hooks once more. Throws the right, steps away, and Hilton drops the canvas, gets his second count within the last 10 seconds of this opening round. Literally saved by the bell, but it's a hard and hurtful round for Mark Hilton with two counts against him. So we enter the second with Connor with a big lead. Full of confidence as well he'll be. How much has Hilton recovered between rounds here? Connor looks for that right, but again, he just overstretches with it. If Connor overstretches and Hilton can counter with one of those short hooks, could turn things on its head here. And that's what he's looking for, to his credit in the blue corner, Hilton, to come back. Connor working behind that jab, keeping it long. Now looks for that stiff right, and he lands it again cleanly. Backward step there from Hilton, I felt the legs went for a second. And that left round, but there's what Hilton needs. He needs to get inside and get those heavy shots to his taller man landing. But again, stiff shot with the left from Connor. And another count for Hilton, just when he was trying to get back into this. Tough night's work for the man in the blue corner. Third count in Aaron Connor's favour. And that left is stiff and straight from Connor. Oh, good left of his own from Hilton, but he got tagged again, and this is the problem for him. When he looks to go to work and gets back into it, he gets caught on the counter, and that was a stiff right hand, straight right cross from Aaron Connor. 
And you wonder how much more of this Mark Hilton can take. No, it's all over. Hard, accurate, straight punching from Connor. Yes, that last right proved decisive. TKO in the second round in favour of Aaron Connor in the red corner.